Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I have a really fun video to share with you. Back during the holidays, I shared with you some ideas for how you could repurpose vintage items that you have around your house into fun pieces of decor for Christmas. So I took that same concept and applied it to Valentine's Day and I came up with some really sweet ways that you can use vintage items that many of us have. We can take those simple items and turn them into decor without having to go out and buy anything new for Valentine's Day decorating. I personally find this style of seasonal decorating to be so enchanting. I find unique uses of everyday items to be some of my most favorite ways to decorate. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I came up with and I'd love to hear your ideas as well down in the comments. If you're new here, I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button. I love making my home beautiful little by little, and these sorts of decorating projects are my absolute favorites. If you love this kind of thing too, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and come back for more. With that, let me show you some of my ideas. Vintage books are a decorator's best friend. They have history, they have texture, they usually have really beautiful covers and colors to them. So I've collected a few red and pink books to show you how pretty they are just stacked. Another idea that I love is to tie your books up with some sort of ribbon or twine. Here I'm using just some vintage pink rickrack. If you have a larger book, you can try this idea. Even a newer book, this idea would work. You just open up your large book to the middle. Find it as close to the middle as you can. Take a page or two from each side of the book, fold them into the middle, and you've created this really sweet little heart shape. I'm a big fan of vintage cookie cutters and I shared with you at Christmas time some ideas to use these in your Christmas decor. But if you are blessed enough to have some heart-shaped cookie cutters in your arsenal, these will be adorable displayed in your house. My heart-shaped cookie cutters are not vintage, but I still think they look pretty sweet displayed in decor. It's really sweet when you tilt these heart-shaped cookie cutters on their side. I have some here displayed on my vintage chalkboard ledge. This is the heart stamp and it looks awful cute just on the shelf. Or of course you can place them inside of some sort of pretty bowl that you have. I chose this sweet little milk glass candy dish. My favorite sort of vintage glass to collect is milk glass, though there are all sorts of beautiful vintage glass varieties out there at thrift stores and estate sales. I love the way that even some faux flowers look in milk glass. One of the hidden features of milk glass that I shared with you at Christmas time is how beautiful it looks at night with candles. It has this very sweet romantic glow to it. So don't forget to do this for Valentine's Day as well. I think it's just so pretty and has this sort of calming effect. Another favorite of mine to collect is sheet music. The artwork on vintage sheet music is just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. And I have a few of my more romantic looking pieces here to share with you. I love the roses on the front of this one. This piece here is just so sweet. I found this recently at a thrift store and it says, let the end of the world come tomorrow as long as you love me today. So you can always display sheet music pieces like this in a picture frame. I love to display mine in these clipboards I have in my living room. That way I can switch them out often because I have so many that I love and I can enjoy them. It is pretty easy to find sheet music that doesn't have a pretty cover or it doesn't have a cover at all or is in a book or something like that. The older stuff just has this really lovely yellowing to it. And there are ways to take new sheet music that you can just print on your computer and make it look old, but there's something about this stuff that's just genuinely old that is so pretty and has that romance to it. 
So I have a lot of music like this that I find at thrift stores and yard sales. And I am just gonna cut some simple hearts out of this and show you how to make a really simple, less than five minute DIY banner. I have a banner in my dining area that I've showed you several times. I just put a small piece of scotch tape on the back of these hearts and taped them onto some twine and draped the banner here in my dining area. But you can also just take a piece of vintage lace or seam binding or ribbon and clip the little hearts on with little clothespins. I found mine at Walmart, though they're everywhere and I find it to look the best if you just clip one side of the heart instead of the middle of the heart. The clip can sort of cover up that dip in the middle if you clip it in the middle. So I find that if you use a clip, you can clip to the side and it works much better. Valentine's Day is also a great time to bring out any really pretty romantic style dishes that you may have in your collection. Again, I find these all over the place at thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales. They are usually fairly affordable. And I also have some pieces that I've inherited. They belonged to great-grandmother, great-great-grandmother. I found dishes like this to be so pretty stacked on top of one another. The different colors and patterns just look so pretty. Another thing that I love to do with floral dishes this time of year is drape different vintage bits and bobs within them. Things like vintage jewelry, lace, old keys, sentimental photos, and sort of layer them in different combinations. You can do the same layering idea with old mirrors. I have one here that's made to look old. This isn't actually vintage, but it's the same idea where you're using it sort of as a base. This is the perfect time of the year to bring out any of those old photos you have, sweet, loving photos you have. It doesn't have to be romantic. As long as the photos evoke a sense of love and belonging, they are wonderful to display this time of year. I have some photos from my own wedding but I also have a copy of my great-grandparents' wedding picture here. Anything sentimental is going to be really sweet to display in Valentine's Day. If you have any of these older jewelry boxes, they make really great displays this time of year as well, because when you open them up, they often have a pink lining. This box in particular was my grandma's, and inside I keep all the letters that she wrote me as a child. I have them here displayed along with a handkerchief that belonged to another great-grandmother. I just find the sentiment and look of this to be so beautiful. So a couple things I think would be wonderful to have for Valentine's decorating would be actual vintage Valentines. I have never found any. I know there's reproductions out there on the market, but I prefer to have the things that actually are old. So I'm always on the lookout for those. And then the other thing I think would be wonderful to have are vintage chocolate boxes. I think that would be great. What I love about decorating in this fashion for the holidays is you're using items that already exist and you're not necessarily just going to a store. For me, my primary source is going to be vintage and secondhand items and I do enjoy an occasional purchase from a store. So I hope that you uh, hear my heart in that. And I also just love the history and connection and meaning that using these old things bring to my home. So thank you all for joining me today and taking time out of your busy day to spend time with me here at the Sweet and Simple Home. I wanted to throw the reminder out there that Friday is the One Box Challenge for the new year. You still have time to jump in and participate if you're interested. So I hope Hope to see you guys back here on Friday. You all take care and I'll be back with more soon.